A hot dog stand creating a legacy through generations of Florida State University students. And this week's Totally Tallahassee, I'm taking you to campus to introduce the history behind Mom and Pops. Carrie and Joe Woodson are ready to open their stand. Should have onions, you should be good. We'll be open, ready to serve by 11, that's our goal. The couple owns Mom and Pops, with two on Florida State University campus that has a history dating back decades. Joe's mom, about 23, 24 years ago, set up a table across from the Fine Arts Building um, and sold lemonade and hot dogs. Popularity for the stand quickly grew, and Joe's parents, Ronnie and Rudy Woodson, expanded to opening the first mom and pops in front of Strozier Library in 1997. Seven years later, Carrie and Joe joined the family business. We fell into the role. The, the one stand opened, my parents talked me into it. I was reluctant. Now, looking back, it's probably one of the best things, best decisions I've made. Joe says him and Carrie have found a family on campus through generations of students. All right. Need some napkins. It was these knolls that helped keep mom and pops open back in 2003 when university leaders worked to get rid of private vendors. Thanks to the support of students, they remain a staple on campus. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I hope you have a great weekend. It's a job where everybody's happy to see you. Everybody's happy when they come up. They're happy when they leave. Those happy memories giving Seminoles lifelong connections. We had a bride that met her maid of honor at the hospital dog stand and on her wedding day they were going to get their hair done and they came by real quick for a hot dog and lemonade. So if you're ever on campus, Carrie will be ready to squeeze you some fresh lemonade and Joe will have one of their famous hot dogs on hand, giving you a reason to smile that is totally Tallahassee. If you know a place or a person that you feel is totally Tallahassee, submit a tip on our website at WTXL.TV.